Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we're diving into something really fun. We're going to use Python to explore Google Trends. Now have you ever wondered what people search for more? Well in this video I'll show you how to pull real search data straight from Google and visualize it with Python. So by the end you'll see which topics are rising, which ones are steady, and which ones spike. So let's jump right in. So I'm on Google's website. It's called colab.research.google.com because it makes it easy to get started programming in Python. If you want to code along with me, you can go to this website as well, log in with your Google account and get started writing your Python code. So to get started, go ahead and click on file, click on new notebook and drive. This, this will open up a new tab for you. And in this tab is where we're gonna start coding. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna to want to do is install a package called PyTrends. So if you don't already have that package installed, just put exclamation point pip and then install PyTrends and then run this button or run it by clicking this button here. Okay. All right. So it's going to take a little time for it to install everything. And in the meantime, if you like this channel and want more programming videos on AI, artificial intelligence, machine learning, data analysis, stocks or real world applications, then please hit that subscribe button and that like button for more videos. All right, so it looks like it's done installing the package. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new tab by clicking this code button in the top left. All right, and now here I'm going to import the libraries that I need for this program. So I'm going to import pandas pandas as pd and I'm going to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt okay so I think that looks good and then from pytrends.request I'm going to import trend rec okay so that should pretty much do it for us let's go ahead and run this cell all right get a little check mark that means that everything is good Let's create a new cell. All right, now the first thing that we're going to do is connect to Google Trends. So I'm going to create a variable called PyTrends, and I'm going to set it equal to trend rec. And we're going to do left parentheses, right parentheses. And then I'm going to put here, I'm going to put HL, and I'm going to set HL equal to EN dash US. Okay, so HL stands for host language and EN dash US is English. Okay, so let me go ahead and put some comments here. Here we're just connecting to Google Trends. All right, and also if you wanted to, you can put in something called TZ, the, the time zone and and you can change it to, you know, whatever you want to. Uh, you can put something like, uh, you can set TZ equal to something like 360, which would be 360 minutes. So that's UTC plus six, but you don't have to worry about that. So let's just not do it. All right, let's go ahead and run this cell. All right, let's go ahead and create a new cell. All right, now in this cell, what we're going to do is we're going to pick our trending keywords. So we're going to create a list of keywords. So I'm going to create a variable called KW underscore list. That will be short for keyword list. And it will be a list. So we need the square left and right brackets. And these will be the, the keywords that we're going to look up to see the search trends. All right, so let's look up Python since that's what we're programming in. Let's look up artificial intelligence. That is a pretty big buzzword now, right? Let's also look up TikTok. A lot of people go on that application and sports. Okay, so a lot of people like watching sports. So this will be our keyword list. And I'm gonna put some comments here and just put keyword list. All right, so let's go ahead and run this cell. Let's create a new cell. All righty, so now in this cell, what we're gonna do is build the payload. So we're gonna use our 
variable pytrans, and we're going to do dot build underscore payload. That's the method that we're going to be using. Okay, and we're going to input the keyword list, so kw underscore list. And we're going to add a few more parameters here. So I'm just going to set cat equal to zero. So cat is the category filter, and zero means all categories. All right. And let's see here. Let's also put time frame. So we're going to set time frame equal to today. 12 m okay so what does that mean that means the last 12 months we can also use something like today 5 y which means for last five years or we can use all which which is for trends since 2004 i believe so yeah we're just going to do today 12 m so that's the last 12 months and we can also put a geo here. So that's the geographic region. So, you know, you can put US for United States, you could put IN for India, you can put GB for United Kingdom. All right, if you want to just look at a certain region, we're just going to leave this blank for now. And let's do G prop as well. Let's set this equal to blank blank. And this is just this is just Google property filter. So I can put something in here like YouTube for YouTube searches. I can put news for Google News, etc. All right. Okay, but we don't need to put anything there. So we just leave it blank. And let's go ahead and just run this for now. Okay, so we get our check mark. And also I want to add a comment here. And I'm just gonna put here build the payload for the last 12 months and right now it's worldwide okay so let me run that one more time all right let's create a new cell and now in this cell what we're going to do is we're going to get the interest over time so i'm going to create a new variable i'm going to call it data and i'm going to set it equal to our pytrends dot interest underscore over underscore time left parentheses, right parentheses. All right, so this will get the interest over time. Get the interest over time. We're gonna get our searches, right? Let's go ahead and run that. Okay, we get a check mark. Let's create a new cell. And here we're going to actually plot the results now. So I'm just gonna type filt.figure. And we're going to give this a figure size. I'm just going to tap over since Google already suggested 10 by 5. But instead of 10 by 5, I'm going to do I'm going to do 12 by 6. All right. And we're going to get rid of this here. And what we're going to do is we're going to loop through our keyword list. So for for keyword kw in our keyword list or kw underscore list, we want to Plot the data. So I'm going to type plt dot plot, and we will put in data dot index for the x-axis and data kw for the y-axis, and the label will be our kw, our keyword. Okay. All right, so I think that looks good. And let's go ahead and give our plot a title. So I'm going to type dot title. I like interest over time. I'm just going to tab over for now. We'll keep it like that. Oh, Google made some other suggestions for us. So plt.x label, put in date. So we're going to have a label called date on the x-axis, plt.y label. We're going to have a label called y, uh, sorry, uh, a label on our y-axis called interest and actually i'll put search interest here and then we're going to have a legend so plt dot legend and then plt dot show all right so i think that looks good let's go ahead and run it and let's make some analysis here all right 
so what we can see is we can see we have our interests, which are Python, artificial intelligence, TikTok, and sports. And it looks like a lot of people are actually searching more so for TikTok than anything else. And the least amount of searching is for artificial intelligence, which is down here, right? Yes, down here. But also what's interesting, it looks like, like artificial intelligence has actually gained some traction over the years, right? We can see a upward, a upward trend here for artificial intelligence. And if we look at sports, oh, sports, I guess, look like they're doing okay. All right, sports and Python seem to be kind of kind of steady. There's a there's a decline in them. Let's take a look at them a little bit more individually. So I'm just going to come back up here and we're going to change this. We're going to change this up just a little bit. I'm going to put some I'm going to make this a comment. And I'm going to highlight all of this using control C. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to come here and paste it using control V. And we're just going to take a look at let's just say Python. So I'm going to get rid of all of this. Let's run this, run this, we're gonna run this, and then we're gonna run this. Okay. And now what we see here is we see, okay, there was some interest in Python, and then it, it dropped off dramatically here in the end of 2025. Uh, let me come back up here, and we're gonna do something else as well. We're, we're gonna get rid of this. So instead of the last 12 months, we're just going to do all. And let's do sports. So I'm going to run this. Let's run this, run this, and then we'll run this here. OK. Uh oh, uh, let's run this again. Let's run this one and then let's run this one. And now let's run this. OK, there we go. So now we have sports. All right. And if we take a look at sports from 2004 to 2024, what's interesting is we can see this decline in, in search interest for sports. So that's that's interesting. And a big drop basically in 2020 or around 2020, there's a big drop in search interest for sports. So. I do think that's interesting. Let's go back up here. We're going to just take a look at, hmm, maybe we'll take a look at Python again. Well, no, let's do this one. Let's take a look at artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Hopefully I'm spelling that correctly. A-R-T-I-F-I-C-I-A-L, intelligence, I-N-T-E-L-L-I-G-E-N-C-E. -E. All right, so I'm going to run this. I'm going to run this, run this one, all right, and then run that. And now we're looking at artificial intelligence. And even though it looked really, really small before on the graph, right, we can see it, we had some, some interest here in 2004, a lot of search interest, and then it dropped off, and then it spiked. You can see, actually, it's it, it peaked in interest, and it looks like it's probably 2025. It's probably this year it peaked in the interest, right? So very, very interesting. And last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uncomment this stuff here. Let's run this. Let's run this. Let's run this one. And then let's run this so we can get them all together. All right. And we can see that, that there was a big spike for TikTok around this time frame between 2016 and 2020. All right, so very, very interesting stuff. You can do a lot with, with Google Trends. You can make your own analysis. Uh, some key takeaways from this analysis is that the chart shows popularity dynamics for sports, TikTok, AI, and Python. AI, of course, being short for artificial intelligence. And it showed it for the last 12 months. This one here is showing it from 2004 to now, right? And we can see that Python has seen a lot of interest in basically the recent past. 
right from about from about 2016 to maybe 2022 somewhere around here approximately 2022 but the interest seems to be slowing down and reversing it's actually back or it's actually back down to around the 2017 and 2019 levels somewhere between there but it's still pretty steady i think okay we can definitely see an increase overall right it seems to be rising but it does also seem to have a, a recent fall and we can see that ai rose this year mostly right so right around here we can see this big spike so that's this year so we can see that it rose this year which may highlight the hype cycle that's going on and the growing interest in ai and TikTok shows the highest overall search interest, especially in recent months. So it's just dominating. So maybe you want to use TikTok to, to promote different things, maybe your business, right? It seems like there's a lot of interest in TikTok here. And then sports search had the highest interest from about 2004 up until about 2020. So that's interesting, but interest seems to be declining on sports, on sports search. So I wonder if people are searching more so for specific sports now, like football or basketball, or if in general people are searching for sports less. All right. Well, there you have it, a Python program that connects to Google Trends and compares search interests across Python, AI, TikTok, and sports. And we did it for the last 12 months. We did it from 2004 till now. Uh, this is a powerful way to combine coding with real world data storytelling. And if you enjoyed this project, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more Python tutorials, and drop a comment on what keywords you'd like me to analyze next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.